Hey guys, what's up? So today's video is really, really exciting. ColourPop is at it again, and they're launching their new Pretty Fresh line, and I cannot be more excited. It's not another brand like Soul or 43 Beauty. It's just like another formula within their current line, and I... <sighs> Guys, I am so, so, so excited about this. I know like ColourPop launches something every five minutes. Like literally they launch something every Friday. Have you guys noticed that? It's literally every Friday. <laughs> They're launching things weekly so it can get overwhelming when it comes to ColourPop, but I do like to do dedicated videos when it's something new. I don't post about all the new collections because then I would have a ColourPop channel. <laughs> People already think I do, <laughs> so. But like I said, when it comes to new formulas and new exciting things, I love to do videos on them. So I'm very, very excited about this video specifically because I've actually been testing this tinted moisturizer for weeks now. By the way, before I start, let me explain what we've got going on here. So I don't know the exact dates just yet. I'm not sure when this is launching. I will leave a little note right here. And this is the Pretty Fresh HA Tinted Moisturizer, which HA stands for Hyaluronic Acid. And this is like an entire Hyaluronic acid situation here we have the tinted moisturizer and we have the setting mist this is the HA setting mist and then we have the HA primer as well so I'm gonna be talking about all three of these products today but I mainly want to talk about the tinted moisturizer because this is what I've been using for weeks now. I actually just recently got this in the mail. I've only used the primer like three times and I just started using the setting spray and even though I do have my opinions on these, I have been using this for quite some time now. I've just been using it off of camera, trying to be very sneaky, testing this behind the scenes, which is rare because ColourPop never sends me things ahead of time. I mean, I have a very good relationship with them, but I'm always just as surprised as you guys are when it comes to new collections. I never know things behind the scenes as much as people think I do. But they reached out to me a few weeks ago asking me if I would like to test something they were working on because it seemed very much up my alley and I was like, as well, I guess. So I've been testing it in this packaging for weeks. They didn't want to show me what it was going to look like or anything. But honestly, I have completely fallen in love with this tinted moisturizer. And I know what you're thinking. Oh, of course, of course. You're in love with a color pop item. No, 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 no. I love this way more than the foundation stick. I love this way more than their other foundation. And I personally think it's amazing. I don't think it's for everybody. Like if you have oily skin, don't even try it. But for someone like me, this works wonders. Wait. Let me show you the actual packaging. So this is what the box looks like. It's actually adorable. I love this peachy color. The main selling point about this tinted moisturizer is that it has hyaluronic acid and coconut water. And I'm not gonna lie, when they were first telling me about the ingredients and what was in it, I got nervous because coconut oil breaks me out. Like it clogs my pores, I don't get really bad pimples or anything, but my skin becomes extremely textured. But I find that coconut water doesn't really irritate my skin. The Too Faced primer, I believe, has coconut water and I use it, it's fine. And like I said, I've been using this for over a month now and I haven't noticed any breakouts. And I know that was a huge concern for a lot of people when they first found out about this. And like, oh my gosh, there's coconut in it. Will it irritate my skin? I don't know, I guess that's up to you. If you are sensitive to coconut, period, like no matter what, then I would steer clear from this because there is coconut water, but it works perfectly fine with my skin. And hyaluronic acid and coconut water are both hydrators. Hyaluronic acid is supposed to plump the skin, retain the natural moisture in your skin. It could even be very soothing. I personally love hyaluronic acid. I get really excited when I use products <laughs> with it in it, so that was a major plus for me. But coconut water is also supposed to hydrate the skin, and I really know Notice that when it comes to this product. This is a very, very dewy, very hydrating tinted moisturizer. And I'll get into that when I show you the demo. But anyway, this comes in 24 different shades and it retails for $12. Let me show you the actual packaging. I'm sitting here showing you the box. This is what it looks like. The packaging is absolutely adorable. I love the font, I love the feel. And $12 is a really, really good price. It's dermatologist tested, oil free, gluten free, silicone free, paraben free, and vegan. And you get 1.45 fluid ounces. So you do get a little bit more than the average foundation, which is awesome when you think about the price. I'm currently in the shade medium 9W because I was recently in Hawaii and I have a little bit of a tan going on. But normally, I would probably be like light 6W or something like that. I, I don't know, <laughs> I'm guessing. And I will say, by the way, even though I do like the design of the packaging, you guys know how I feel about pumps in tubes. If you're gonna give me a tube, I prefer it to be a squeezy tube. If you're gonna give me a pump, please put it in a bottle. Only because I feel like sometimes with, I, I've said this a million times, but <laughs> with packaging like this, 
similar to the Fenty Beauty Hydrating Foundation. Sometimes you can sit there and pump forever and nothing comes out because like air gets caught in these tubes. I don't know what it is about the tubes where pumping can become a mission and you might not get all of it out and you can get like air bubbles and <sighs> it drives me crazy and I don't find that to be the case with pumps on like glass bottles. Pretty silly, I know, but it's just something I have to mention because I don't love that there's a pump on this tube. If I could squeeze it, heaven. <laughs> So I'm actually gonna talk about the tinted moisturizer before I go into the primer or setting spray. I know it's weird starting in the middle, but this is the guy that I've been using for a while, and this is the product I'm most passionate about. I recently posted on my Instagram stories that I was loving a new foundation. I told you guys I was loving it. It made my skin look like skin. It was just absolute perfection. At that time, I didn't know it wasn't a foundation. I thought it was just like a super sheer foundation, but it's a tinted moisturizer. I didn't know because this is the packaging I was working with, and they wouldn't even tell me the name. It was a big secret. I love it. But this is what I was talking about in that Instagram stories and it has truly been my go-to recently. I love the finish of this. On the packaging it does say that it's ideal for all skin types but I don't know if I necessarily agree with that. If you have oily skin and you want to check it out let me know how you feel about it but I just think it's a little bit too hydrating and too dewy for oily skin. I guess it could also depend on how you're using it like what you're using underneath. I have actually been using it on top of my Farsali liquid glass radiance makeup skin serum and it's so funny because this actually has hyaluronic acid in it as well which so does their HA primer and I actually do really love the combo of the primer with the tinted moisturizer but since I've been using it for weeks without these I've just gotten accustomed using it with this and I really 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 love the combo of these it just makes things extra dewy and extra radiant which I love but maybe if you have like normal or combination skin don't go in with something so over the top and dewy beforehand but anyway I applied my primer and then I went in with the tinted moisturizer and you can see as I'm applying it onto my face the coverage is very sheer I mean it's a tinted moisturizer but even then it's not like the Thrive CC cream or the it cosmetics it just looks a bit more sheer it's a true tinted moisturizer I would say but the coverage is still there it's not like a glossier skin tint that's like literally putting on water over and over and over again it has more coverage than that it also has a bit more coverage than the Mac face and body foundation so that's nice but again expect it to be sheer I applied it to half of my face so you can see the difference. I'm wearing it on the left side of my face and I don't have any of it on the right side of my face and you can kind of see. The difference is very, very minimal but you can tell that my left side is just a little bit more smooth, a little bit more even, more fresh. There is just a bit more coverage on that side and I really, really like that. Because it has that dewy sheer finish, it is buildable. You can apply like three layers of this and build up the coverage but just keep in mind it will look pretty dewy on the skin. If you apply too much it can look like you have too much on because of the dewiness so if you are trying to get like a higher coverage with this guy I would recommend setting it at the end so that it's not too emollient and it doesn't like slip off your face so this is what my skin looks like with the foundation on my face as you can see my skin looks really fresh healthy hydrated it doesn't look like I have a full face of makeup on right now it just looks like a very dewy and hydrated skin which I am obsessed with you guys know I have a very very dry skin so something like this is is perfect for me and I really appreciate that even though this is a very very dewy tinted moisturizer it doesn't sink into my lines as bad as other dewy foundations do so I really 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 appreciate that and honestly my favorite way to wear this foundation is completely on its own without setting it like without setting powder I'll just put a little bit all over my face put some concealer on my t-zone and then I will only set the areas of my face where I applied concealer and I do leave that glow and that dew on the rest of my skin without setting it because I just think it looks so so pretty and in my opinion this tinted moisturizer looks better when you don't set it or at least not setting like the rest of your face I do have to set like my concealer and stuff but it just looks so fresh and beautiful on the rest of your skin and even though it does stay tacky like I mean not anymore I have like a bunch of powders all over my face but even though when you're done applying it there is a tacky finish it doesn't it doesn't bother me I don't know how to explain it obviously if you're hugging somebody with a white shirt and you didn't set your foundation it's gonna come off it's gonna come off on their shirt but as long as I'm not messing with my face I really love how it looks completely on its own in my Instagram stories where I showed you my skin I didn't have a filter on or anything and I didn't set it and I just love how it looks throughout the day when I don't set it I rarely do the whole full glam look when I wear this tinted moisturizer I mainly use this guy for an everyday kind of vibe today I went 
full glam. I'm actually wearing the So Jaded palette on my eyes today, by the way, in case you're wondering. I'm wearing Ametrine all over my lid, and then I have stones like on my lower lash line, and that's that's it. And then I have diamond as my brow bone highlight, just in case you were wondering. But I also wanted to show you my face close up once I applied my concealer and I set my concealer because I do feel like everything looks more perfected when I do that. Before the concealer, this tinted moisturizer does look a little bit intense. Like my face looks completely wet. And you might look at that and think, oh wow, that's a little bit too dewy for me. But once you put on concealer and you smooth everything out with powder underneath the eyes, it truly is naturally beautiful. I Love it. Also, since I like to wear this tinted moisturizer mainly without setting it, I thought at first it was gonna make my bronzer skip or it was gonna make my blush apply patchy because sometimes when you try to blend bronzer on top of a really dewy base, it'll stick to that wet item and then it'll be really hard to blend out. You might get some muddiness. It just won't give you a smooth application the way a more satin matte foundation will. But I actually wanted to show you guys, I did film myself applying my bronzer, blush, and highlight just so you can see how it applies. I personally don't find that my bronzer skips. Even though it is a dewy foundation, it doesn't get stuck to my face. My bronzer applies pretty smoothly, if you ask me. I'm really just impressed by the way that powders apply on top of this. My blush went on perfectly fine. And because it is a dewy foundation, I just love the way highlight applies on top of this. Sorry, dewy tinted moisturizer. I really love how highlight just grabs onto the dewiness and it just looks a little bit more intense So that's awesome and I just appreciate how things go on. I love it So yeah, and then I just wanted to show you a little bit more up close how my face looks with all my makeup on You can see it doesn't look as wet as it did before so the finish does look a little bit more natural now Obviously as you guys can probably tell I love this. I love this so much. I love it way more than I thought I was going to love it. It's definitely at the top of my list when it comes to ColourPop um, base products. And I really do like how it lasts throughout the day. It's not a long wearing formula by any means. It doesn't claim to be. Silly. But it doesn't break up weird. It doesn't get greasy and nasty, at least not on my skin. And I just, I really love it. I'm going to insert a clip of me at the end of the night. I mean, it's pretty late. It's 4, oh my gosh, it's 4 p.m. already. And when I was done applying my foundation, it was 2.30. I remember I looked at the clock and it was 2.30. So I'm going to try to last till at least 9 o'clock. But in conclusion, I love this. If I had to rank this, keep in mind, this isn't the first time I use this. I've been using this for weeks. So I am very set in how I feel. I'm going to give this 4.5 lightning bolts only because I'm scared to give it five lightning bolts because I'm scared people are not gonna believe me and also five lightning bolts is like holy grail status which this might be I love this but let me give it 4.5 for now okay and then really quickly I want to give you my thoughts on the pretty fresh setting mist and the primer because I've only been using this for about a week now but guys Guys, well, before I get into this masterpiece, let's talk about the primer. See, this packaging I love because it's a pump on a bottle. The formula is also similar on this. It has coconut water, hyaluronic acid. It is a very, very nourishing, very hydrating primer. It reminds me so much of the Too Faced Hangover RX primer. It's not even funny. It's like the same. Let me know. I'm not gonna say that. I'm not gonna say that. But it reminds me a lot of it. And it smells a lot like coconuts, while the tinted moisturizer doesn't. If anybody was wondering, I know there's coconut water in this, but it doesn't smell like coconut water. It doesn't smell coconutty at all. And as I'm applying it to the skin, I don't really smell it. It has like a very subdued, soft foundation scent, which I love. I hate really heavily fragranced foundations but this actually does have a pretty strong coconut scent in like a pleasant way but it really does remind me of the Too Faced primer you see as I'm applying it onto my skin it leaves your skin so dewy and fresh and hydrated it is super moisturizing and I feel like this primer and this uh, tinted moisturizer is like a major thirst quencher this will do the trick if you're dry like on another level. This combo is very, very intense. For today's video, I just applied it to my skin so you can see how it looks on my skin. But I have used it about three times now and I do think it's really nice. I think it gets the job done. I think it's super nourishing and I definitely see myself using this a lot, especially on super dry days. And I'm not sure how much product you get in this. It doesn't say it anywhere, but this does retail for $10. And yeah, I would say out of the three new pretty fresh items, this one is the least exciting for me. Now this, however, I'm so happy. Guys, let me show you, where is it? My beloved Glisten Up 43 Beauty Mist, okay? This is 43 Beauty, aka ColourPop. I love this thing, I love it so much. It's so dewy and hydrating and amazing. But the pump on this, 
not the best. I look past it because it's so good, but not the, not the worst, but not the best. Like, look, it's a little bit like droppy. It's a little droplety, which I don't like, but I mean, it's literally not the worst I've used. Now, look at this masterpiece. I am shocked that this pump is this good. Not that I would underestimate ColourPop. I just slapped myself so hard there. Not that I didn't think that they would. It's just that I didn't think this one would be so much better in terms of the mist. But oh my gosh, it is. This bottle is incredible. Like the packaging, look at this, look at this, look at this. Look at the difference, okay? Oh, that smells so good. Mm, it smells like coconuts, but look. So good, oh my God. I get excited when I see a mist that fine, I swear. It like does something to me, I can't explain it. So first of all, this gets a major thumbs up from me for that reason alone. But besides the packaging, I think the formula is really, really nice as well. Like really nice. I was so impressed by that. But let's move away from the packaging for a second, even though that's the best part about this. But this is the Hyaluronic Acid Setting Mist. This is also $10, just like the primer, and it is worth every penny. You also get coconut water in this as well, and like I said, you do smell it. And it is a more hydrating, like fresh uh, setting mist, but it's nowhere near as dewy as Glisten Up. Like this is similar to the Tatcha Dewy Skin Mist. This is similar to the Farsali Rose Gold Elixir. It's almost like oily, in a sense. This, however, isn't. It's hydrating and refreshing, don't get me wrong, but it just melts all your products into your skin without creating too much dew, without making you look wet. So if you've tried this and you're like, too dewy for me, I want something refreshing, but not like, like this, then I would highly, highly recommend this one. I mean, like if you're shopping at ColourPop, you know? <laughs> not only is the mist fabulous, it feels so nice on the skin. And you can see in the demo when I'm applying it, it doesn't wet your face too much. It's just such a beautiful mist. But then it just sinks everything into the skin. Like all the powder products you put on your face just melt into your skin like butter. And you just look so fresh and smooth. And I really, really love how my skin looks. I could honestly see a difference. I really, really, really have been enjoying the setting mist, even though I've only been using it for a little bit. This was a major, major winner for me. But, okay guys, that's it. I wanted to give you my thoughts on ColourPop's new Pretty Fresh line. This is definitely up my alley. I am very, very into this kind of thing. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below letting me know what you think of the Pretty Fresh line. Are you guys gonna try it out when it launches? Are you gonna totally skip it? Let me know. I would love to know your thoughts in the comments below. But yeah, that completes this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love you so much. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.